Pennsylvania's Secretary of State stepped down today as expected. Kathy Bachvar said she was taking responsibility for a clerical error that prevented a constitutional amendment on child sexual abuse from going on the May ballot. But now political editor John Delano reports some state lawmakers think there may be another way to get the proposed amendment before voters. It takes at least two years to get a constitutional amendment on the ballot, but the Constitution allows an expedited process for major emergencies if two-thirds of the state House and Senate approve. Two state representatives want to use this provision to get their amendment on the May ballot. The one solution that is on the table right now is the emergency constitutional amendment. Uh, I, I think this is a very good path. If the legislature acts quickly, voters will vote to allow victims of child sexual abuse a two-year window to sue their predators and their institutions, despite the clerical screw-up by the Secretary of State's office. Uh, we're trying to do the right thing to make up for the mistake and, and, and save this for the victims who've been waiting for so long. Further delay is not right, they say. Both state representatives Jim Gregory and Mark Rossi are survivors of child sexual abuse, in Rossi's case by a priest. I can remember like it was yesterday the day that he took me into that shower and raped me with my childhood friend right outside the door. The current statute of limitations expires before most child victims are adults. The amendment gives survivors a second chance to hold predators and their churches, universities, scouting, and other institutions accountable in civil court. I believe that many victims have yet to come forward. Both the House and Senate approved the original amendment. Will the General Assembly act in time on this emergency one? We have a commitment to get a vote out of the House, which by the way, passed, as you know, last week, 185 to 17. The Senate has not yet committed to any particular legislative strategy yet, they say. But Gregory and Rossi expect them to act soon. Waiting is not an option at this point another two years. That is unacceptable. John Delano, KDKA News.